Teachers unions, the Democrats' biggest super PAC, spending big on Democrats with just nine days until the midterm. The groups, like the AFT and the NEA, pouring millions of dollars into political campaigns between 2021 and 2022, with nearly all of it, of course, going to left-wing candidates. Here to react is Turning Point USA founder Charlie Kirk. Charlie, thanks for being here. You travel the country. You talk to parents, students. Uh, are, is what the NEA and AFT, what the teachers unions, what they're selling in these ads, is anyone buying it after what they pulled during COVID? No, but the enormity and the volume of resources is quite remarkable. I have to tell you, though, the NEA and the AFT, they're so worried that there is a parents' party that is growing across America that is bipartisan, that is diverse, that is across socioeconomic lines. It is parents that are starting to show up at school board meetings. And I think what we're going to see with the midterm elections coming up just around the corner is we're going to see this hidden parent vote. It's very hard to see in the polling, yeah. but you look at the last couple years, you look at the lockdowns, you look at the mass mandates, the vaccine mandates, the decline in math and reading scores. This is really hard to pinpoint because it's that kind of hidden suburban voter. They might not have liked Trump, but they don't like at all what's happened in their local schools. And it's the Democrats that owned all of it. I think you're going to see it materialize in the Minnesota, Michigan, and Wisconsin governor's race in particular. Those are state-based type races that were yeah. overly dry draconian with their lockdowns, and the NEA and the AFT are so worried that school choice pieces of legislation like we just passed here in Arizona are sweeping the country with newfound momentum. I like the sound of that, the parents party and a hidden vote. And if, if, if races in Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Michigan are tight, man, what an election night it's going to be. Uh, and I know things are looking up in, in your state of Arizona as well with two great candidates at the top, mm -hmm. uh, one of which Carrie right. Lake will have on the program uh, in just about 30 minutes. But first, Charlie, we want to get to another topic you've highlighted very well. Uh, you've got a new documentary out called Border Battle. Uh, take a watch. This isn't a war that anybody even wants to talk about. But we are at war. Describe the cartel, pure evil. It's a Turning Point USA docu-series. Charlie, tell us about it. Yeah, from the education cartel that we were just talking about yeah. now to the drug cartel. Uh, we've been spending about nine months on this. We're a border state here in Arizona. We make the argument that actually every single state is a border state. It's a project to educate millions of Americans about what's actually happening on the southern border. People could check it out at SalemNow.com. And what we did is we embedded with Border Patrol, with ICE, with the great Sheriff Mark Lamb to educate people on the drugs, the fentanyl, the crime, the child sex trafficking, and what's happening because of a porous southern border. I think this is a major issue that people don't quite understand. They they oh yeah, people are crossing it. No, no, no. This issue of sovereignty, issue of our kids. And right now across America, there are kids that are taking fentanyl pills that were just that just waltzed across the southern border because our federal government allowed it to happen. So it's SalemNow.com if people want to check it out. It's making a very, very big impact, Pete. I think every American needs to properly educate themselves on the border so that we can solve this problem once and for all. Mm. So on our first topic, it's the parents' party versus the perverts' party. Uh, and then you've got sovereignty versus anarchy. That's basically, if you want to break it down, it's a sanity election. Uh, Charlie, choose wisely. Choose wisely, yes, as if your life and your kids depend on it. Charlie Kirk, you're the man. Thank you. Thank you.